I have some garlic that I cut up and some carrot and I'm about to cut up this onion and over here I have my wok that I'm going to be using. Here is the string beans and I also have some bell peppers in there and then right here I have the ginger that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using a little bit of chicken broth. I have my gluten-free rice sticks and more veggies. Okay, so now I'm adding a little olive oil to my wok. And then I'm going to be adding my spices. So I have chili powder here. I didn't used to use chili powder when I was cooking stir fries, but I made this really good stir fry and the chili powder really just gave it a kick and brought out a lot of flavor. So I'm going to be using chili powder for sesame seeds. And I found that if you add the oils in first, it really coats the meat. So that's the way that I like to do this. These are red peppers that I actually bought and then blended into crushed red pepper and then I put it in this container. So you get a lot more flavor if you do it that way. And then add a little garlic powder. Even though I am using real garlic, I like to have a little garlic powder in here. Now I'm going to add a little bit of this hot chili sesame oil. Okay, so we got that going on. And I'm going to turn this on and let it heat up. I like to have my burner really low. So I'm going to put it on four and I'm going to let this heat up and then I'm going to add the meat. So my husband has been removing the meat from the bone. Um, we had some chicken thighs and some drumsticks that we're going to be using tonight in the stir fry and he is going to cut these up into thin slices and we will be adding it to this oil seasoning concoction once this wok heats up. So these are the noodles that I'm going to be using. These are rice sticks that I got from the Oriental Market. And I have them here in a scale. I'm going to do four servings, so I have it at a little over 220 grams, but that's how it looks. And I have my water boiling, so I'm going to be boiling these and adding them last. Okay, so now my oils are smoking a bit, so I'm going to add the meat to the mixture. And I'm going to let that cook and coat the meat. You can add onion. Ginger next, please. Mm, this spinach is really soft and pretty moldy. So unfortunately, my ginger has gotten soft and we can't use it, but I do have a jar of this minced ginger that I'm gonna be using. So now that I've added the minced ginger, the garlic, and the crudely cut onions, I'm going to let this simmer for a few minutes. And I'm going to place a, um, a plate over the top so that it traps the heat in and just like simmers it. Okay, so now that this has been simmering for about six minutes, I'm going to add my bowl of veggies. And I'm going to let it simmer some more and then add a little vinegar. I 
have my rice noodles straining and you want to add cold water so that they actually stop cooking. So I have that going. And since they're done draining, I'm going to add them to the stir fry. Okay, so for the last step, I'm going to be adding my rice noodles and a little bit of vinegar. And things should be ready to eat. So I'm come over here. And I got my rice noodles. This is four servings. I always feel like rice noodles is just like so many servings. Like, ugh, it seems like so much food. And since we covered it with the plate, all of the juices didn't evaporate from the meats, the juices that I added, and um, the juices from... Okay, so I have this gluten-free la choy that I'm going to be using. And I'm just going to put a little bit of it in here. And then I also have gluten-free white vinegar. And I like using white vinegar. Um, it deglazes the pan. So I'm going to add just a little bit of that in here. Now I'm just going to let it simmer for a few more minutes and then we're going to be ready to eat. So this is supposed to be four servings. So usually what I do is I just try to separate and create like a little barrier between what I'm doing because it's just my husband and I that are eating. So this is basically how much each of us will get. And like I said, I always feel like these rice noodles are so much. So... I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the bowl. Whatever I don't eat, I will definitely just eat for lunch. My husband, he will 100% eat all of his. So that's my plate. And now I'm going to do his plate. Um, this is one of my favorite things to eat, so I hope that you guys like the video. I am not great on telling you guys quantities of like what I cook because a lot of times I don't use a recipe. But this is one of my stir-fry recipes, and I'll try to get all of the measurements up as accurately as possible. I like to season stuff to taste, though. So I hope that you guys enjoy the recipe. It's 100% gluten-free.